A big issue that could be holding your website back is that your store just isn't loading quick enough. When a potential customer lands on your site, they have about seven seconds to decide if they want to stay or if they're going to leave. And guess what? If your website loads slowly or your images are just kind of buffering and taking forever to load, what are they gonna do? They're gonna leave. This is especially true if they came from an ad or a paid search result where they really have no brand loyalty. So why should they stay if you're not quickly showing your site and showing them what they came there for? That's why it's so important to make sure that your website loads quickly. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can optimize your site to have it load really quickly for new visitors. First off, and the biggest way that I see people messing up their site speed is their images. You need to make sure that your images are sized correctly. So this typically means 72 DPI, which is the resolution that you have. You don't need these huge quality print style photos, so you can optimize it to be a lesser resolution so that the file size is not as big and that it loads quicker as well. You also wanna make sure that your images are the correct size for the space that they're showing in. So obviously if it's going to be on your homepage slideshow, it's gonna need to be a little bit bigger of a format, maybe a bigger image overall. It's really helpful to look in your theme and see the size that it's requesting. Pretty much every theme that I've seen will say a size recommendation under different big banner images of what size they recommend that you upload the image at. So follow that. Have your image created for the exact size for the area of your site that it needs to be. And you can use a simple online editor tool like Canva to create an exact canvas size for whatever the recommendation is, and then add in your image or any text or anything like that that you wanna add in there to make sure that your image is sized correctly and then upload that into your theme editor. Bonus tip here, while you're at it and you're already resizing your image and downloading it and uploading it again, might as well take the additional time to just change the file name and not just have it be, you know, your brand name slash slideshow or whatever you're gonna name it or slideshow one, whatever, but instead add in your brand name and your keywords for your product. This is going to help for search engine listings and optimization, which I have a whole other video about how to optimize your site for SEO but you're already taking this additional step of uploading a new image to your Shopify store. So why not spend the extra time and just add in your keywords and get it more likely to pull up into search results. For your product page images, you can actually resize your images directly inside of Shopify. They have a pretty cool editor there where you can crop the image however you want. I would recommend that you have all of your product images crop to the same size so that way it just looks nice as you're scrolling down the product page but you can also resize the images there so that you can make sure again that it's a really nice size you can still have it be big enough for product image zoom all of that functionality but you don't have to have this colossal image to have high quality images on your site and that is going to be a huge way that you can speed up your Shopify store quickly Okay, the next area that is crucial for making your website load quickly is taking a look at all of your Shopify apps. So every time you add a Shopify app to your store, it's going to add in some code to your site so that it works correctly. All of these little bits of code can really add up and slow down your site, especially if you have a lot of different apps that you're using. So you wanna be mindful about the apps that you're choosing to use for your store and making sure that that's specific functionality that you need. I've been to Shopify sites before where they'll have like 50 apps and it's honestly just overkill. Also, it's gonna be so expensive because all of those just add to the monthly charges. If you need 50 apps to run your Shopify store, then you do it, girl. But most likely, you probably don't and you're not only wasting your money, but you're really, really slowing down your site speed. So I actually have a free guide called the Shopify store tune-up where it helps you kind of walk through your site and audit what your needs are and figure out if you're using all the apps and figure out which ones you can remove or which ones maybe you can find an alternative for. There's a lot of different apps in the app store now that does multiple different functionalities. So maybe you can combine things and instead of having three different apps for three different functionalities, maybe you can find one app that has all three functionalities in it. It can really help to improve your site speed if you just minimize all the extra code that's being added into your theme. I personally like to reevaluate all of my apps in my Shopify stores 
every single quarter just to make sure that I'm using the app correctly and that customers are using it. If it's a functionality that I thought would be nice to add to the store, like a wish list, well, how many wish lists were created? How many purchases came from wish lists? Is this a functionality that my customers actually do care about and are using? Or did I just think it was a good idea to try it out, but it's not really being used and I can just remove it now? Doing a quarterly review like this is really helpful of just managing the overall Shopify apps that you have on your store. And again, I have that free guide. Take a look at the link below in the description if you wanna get that to start kind of evaluating your Shopify store performance as well. The last key area that you can optimize to improve your site speed is going to be your overall site styling. So for this, I recommend doing a couple key things for your Shopify theme. First off, look at using the fonts that are embedded into the Shopify theme. So using system default fonts is going to be really nice because that means that they're already downloaded on our phones, on our computers, and they're more widespread fonts so that when someone comes to your site that the browser is not having to download that font and to show it up correctly on your site. Don't get me wrong, I love me some custom fonts and I have many, many times purchased fonts to use on websites to have a specific kind of styling look that I want to add in. However, that is going to add to your page load speed of it not being a system font because every single person is probably going to end up having to have that font downloaded to show correctly. So something to keep in mind there. Also, just take a look at your Shopify theme. What kind of functionality does this theme have? Many times I've found themes that have functionality that I'm already looking for to add to my site, like a newsletter pop-up or a pre-order functionality or upsells or having a menu with images as a in-menu promotion. All those things don't have to be Shopify apps. That can actually be a theme that has all that functionality in it and it's already pre-built with all of the code in the theme. So you're not having to do anything extra and it's already built in. So it saves you some money from the app charges and it's already all set up. You know it's gonna work correctly and it's all built into the existing theme. You can search by theme functionality when you go to the Shopify theme store and you can actually just click on different things there of your must have theme features to kind of narrow down and find the perfect theme for you that has the most amount of functionality that you're looking for. And that way you can again, minimize those app functionality additions as well. One of the key things that I always look for for every single Shopify theme that I get is that it has the ability to lazy load different areas of theme sections. So call it something different sometimes, but being able to actually go to the site and then as you scroll down the page, the different sections that you're adding in kind of quickly show up and are showcased then is super helpful because it means that when someone comes to your website, the website browser is not having to load the entire page all at once. And instead, it's able to only load the sections as you scroll down the page. So this makes it load a lot faster and it's kind of a cool user experience of having different areas animate in as you're scrolling down. It makes it seem just a little bit more polished as well. So that's something I always look for in any Shopify theme that I'm going to purchase. Now, don't get me wrong, I love me some Shopify apps and it's a great way to add additional functionality to your Shopify store. There's just so many Shopify apps now in the Shopify app store that you could add in. So top four Shopify apps that I recommend every single shop owner add to their store. Also, don't forget to get that Shopify store tune-up guide where I'm gonna help walk you through how to quickly evaluate your store to optimize your site design, your performance, optimize for speed, and get you more sales.